Hello, and I'm going to be going over this uh, macro script here, and I'm not going to go over everything. This is actually part three, and uh, I'll have a link below the video where you can go see the original one, then go see part two, and this is one I believe will be part three, and you can get in more detail. This is going to be a little tip, okay, so if you're kind of wondering what's going on, you need to go see the original one. So for this little tip here is uh, if we open up the brushes, um, by default, I have this one. It's called ZM Step Off and ZM Step On with the extrude um, text in there. And I have a reason for that. So let me go ahead and let's get started here. And let's go to the uh, macro low brushes. And first, what I did is I went and selected the extrude. Okay. I'm going to identify this brush because of the text here, extrude. And if I right click over here, you can see it has modifiers. For some reason, ZBrush will not store the modifiers. Um, we don't want to change the. There's only one um, one that you can change, and that one is to the uh, Edit Brush, and that would be this one right here. Um, that's in the other video, so we'll just get that. So basically, what I did is I went to the extrude, okay. And I like to use stepping, and I like it sometimes on and off, um, because I'm going to be setting up a hotkey for this. And that's going to be with this scroll mouse wheel. I've already set it up, and um, I want these to load up by default. So basically what I did was I went to the brushes. Since it says extrude, we want to go ahead and go to brush, and save as. I saved one as ZM step off, one as ZM step on. I put ZM in the front here, because it'll... It's alphabetic order, and it always will be at the bottom of the list. It won't be all messy. So, so with this, I'm going to cycle with the hotkey on the scroll mouse wheel. So if I scroll up, it says, you can see the text here. It says ZM step off, scroll mouse up, step on. Now, since it does not store the modifier, I will have to temporarily do that. As long as the ZBrush is running, it will always be there. So... Until I shut it down and restart it, then I will no longer have the modifier. So I'll right click and I want the stepping on because I'm going to identify it by the name over here, stepping on. So if my steps on, I can get like this. Let me go ahead and turn my draw side a little bit bigger here. So we can get some cubes coming out. And for some reason, I don't want the stepping. I just use my scroll mouse wheel again one time and it's just that quick and I have no stepping so just put my cursor over here use scroll mouse wheel stepping and stepping off and it's pretty much straightforward but anyway like I said the link will be below the video now remember uh, every time that you uh, restart ZBrush you will you lose the modifier settings and uh, if we reset all brushes and go back and look we still have my step off and step on and uh, these will load by default just because they are in the uh, brush and that would be the ZBrush 4R7 startup brush preset and this loads them automatically and uh, I wouldn't go crazy about putting a whole bunch I heard the limit is you know you want to probably not have no more than 25 so um, that's whatever you want to do, but I, I wouldn't make it too cluttered up.